Hey guys, it's Lon. Welcome back to another vlog. So it's a little after 8 a.m. and Walmart just dropped off my groceries. So I got my uh, my groceries delivered. So I'm about to show you guys this gigantic <laughs> grocery haul. Um, but if you have never shot Walmart grocery delivery or Walmart grocery pickup, I always leave a link in the description box where you can save $10 off of your first order. It is extremely, extremely convenient when you don't have time, even if you wanna pick it up or um, like during the holidays, it's so convenient. This is not sponsored, but I just want to let you guys know that I always have that promo code in my description box in case you want to save or try out Walmart grocery delivery or pickup for the first time. So guys, so y'all, our entire island is filled with stuff. Mind you, this is not even all of it. This is just like like the sides and stuff like that. I still have to go to Costco and get the meat. And then Walmart was actually out of a few things in my order. So I'm getting that from Giant. So let me just show you guys. I really had no effort to organize this. I usually organize it by like dairy and produce and frozen. I don't got time for that this morning, okay? So first things first, we got some Parmesan cheese. I picked up Anaya some more unsweetened coconut milk. Got some... um cream cheese um some loaves of bread because for some of our lunches this week or you know throughout the month we'll have like tuna fish sandwiches and chicken salad sandwiches so i got some bread we like never have any bread but one of these are actually going in the freezer and then i needed some onions some aluminum foil some taco seasoning and a uh, brown gravy seasoning um i needed more ground cinnamon some paprika and some um garlic powder as well as some minced garlic i got two things of chicken broth because i i have ran out of chicken broth and one of the lunches that i'm making this week oh my gosh it's on the side of the package that is hilarious i'm making chicken tortilla soup no no no, no i'm not making chicken tortilla y'all pray for naya there's nothing wrong with her she just want to get out of her pack and play <laughs> Hold on, mama. I'll get you in just a second. I'm making chicken enchilada soup. I picked up beef. Oh, heck no. Okay, well, it was supposed to be four chicken ramens. This is the best ramen on the market. Um, some bananas, some shallots, some Red Baron little frozen personal pizzas for like little snacks if we need to pick something up. I got some Totino's pizza rolls, which is something that Henry likes. I was completely out of pasta, so I restocked on every type of pasta. I got elbow, penne, um, rigatoni, linguine, and fettuccine. Because, um, yeah, you just need different pastas for different purposes, okay? Then I got um, a can of tuna fish, two things of tomato basil soup, because another one of our lunches is um, grilled cheese with tomato soup. Oh, classic. And then I got some diced tomatoes, these beautiful, beautiful green onions. Like, look at that. Um, some extra crunchy peanut butter for Henry, um, a chopped Caesar salad. I got some deli meat here. I got some ham and some salami. I ordered turkey in my giant order um, because we're also going to have, guys, um, sandwiches on everything bagels. That's in my giant order. Got some guac, some cilantro, and some yellow bell pepper, chopped green chilies, black beans, vegetable oil. These are the tortilla strips that's going to go on top of that amazing enchilada soup. Some tomato, lemon, fully cooked bacon. Because look, do y'all put bacon in y'all grilled cheese? I started doing that when I was in college. They would sell it like that. Bacon, tomato, cheese, bomb. Okay? Got some taco shells. My sister told me these were the best. So I switched over to these. I'm going to try these out. Some Bob Evans garlic mashed potatoes. These are everything. Bomb. Okay? Um, some cream of wheat. I don't like cream of wheat, but um, I'm going to be giving Anaya some in the mornings because it's just getting cold. And I think Henry likes cream of wheat. Um, apple cinnamon Cheerios, some apple cinnamon waffles, some buttermilk waffles, some portobello mushrooms, Red Baron. This is a bigger pizza, like if I don't feel like cooking dinner one night. Over here is a whole roaster chicken. Um, tortilla chips, garlic butter, sour cream. I picked up some oi yogurts in mango, lemon, and in peach. Some curry gold butter, cause y'all know with the grilled cheese you need you need some good butter. So got that. 
Fuji apples, okay? Fuji apples are so sweet. So I'm so excited to eat this. And this is gonna be for Anaya's like breakfast or, you know, fresh fruit for whatever she needs it for. Henry likes tart green apples, so he got Granny Smith. I got some cheese for our bagel sandwiches. These were supposed to be this brand pancakes, but they ran out, so they substituted it for this. Got some chips for our sandwiches, some salsa, and then eggs. So, um, basically Walmart was out of a lot of the produce that I needed. So I ordered all of like my fresh produce and other like fresh things um, from Giant. And then they're delivering that. And then I'm going to Costco to get the meats in bulk. So it is, it's gonna take me a little while to put all this away. And let me get Anaya out because she is going crazy. Excuse me, mamas. Excuse me, mamas. Excuse me, mamas. I was just telling y'all in the last four vlog. She hates being in here. Excuse me, mamas. Excuse me, mamas. So much stuff. I literally skipped right over this. Um, this is a pork tender loin, y'all. Let me tell y'all. Okay, so this is the Smithfield brand. This one is pre-seasoned. It's roasted garlic. <clears throat> Sorry, it's roasted garlic and cracked black pepper. So let me tell y'all. All right, I got y'all propped up on the Cheerios. Okay, let me tell y'all. I've only cooked pork tenderloin maybe twice in my life, okay? One of them was in like a HelloFresh or Green Chef delivery kit. And the second time was when I put it in my cooking with lawn recipes for this month of October. I just, I don't know, I never really experimented with that cut of meat, but for the month of October, I was looking for something like fall, and it was just, uh, yeah, I was just looking for something, okay? So, when I discovered pork tenderloin, and I seasoned it the way I seasoned it for this month's recipe, y'all, that cinnamon rubbed pork tenderloin is my favorite recipe for the month of October. When I sent out the blessed email to my members, I was like, look, if you guys only make one recipe this month, then this pork tenderloin needs to be it. It was the seasoning. It was how I cooked it. It was perfectly tender and juicy and just moist. So that made me want to try out other pork tenderloins. And I always see this. So I was like, let me just pick up Smithfield brand. They're known for like their pork and bacon and stuff like that. So I can't wait to try this. I'm gonna make this tonight with maybe like some mashed potatoes and kale or mashed potatoes and broccoli. I'm not quite sure, but I am really excited for that. So if you guys are looking for something that is just like fall friendly, you need to head on over to my website, www.cookingwithlawn.com and right on the homepage, you'll see October's recipes and try out that cinnamon rub pork tenderloin with fresh apple chutney. It was something out of this world. Like, I'm not even joking. It was something out of this world. So make sure you guys try that out. It'll be a link in my description box. And also, if you are a part of my newsletter, then I have a special promo coming up for the month of November. So if you've been thinking about wanting to become a member, now is the time. November is lit. All right, but let me stop blabbering. I really need to put away all these groceries. It's so many groceries. And I'll see you guys. So I got dressed for the day, and Anaya and I are about to go on a little mommy daughter date to Costco. <laughs> really have nothing really to do today except for like get our groceries and stuff so yeah i already got my little it's so much easier if you kind of just like arrange this at home first my little baby carrier um yeah and then i'm gonna probably just like take it off and keep it in the car until we get to costco and then i'll put it back on but i like to like get it fitted while i'm at home because ain't nobody got time for that especially if you're out by yourself i'm not like gonna be fiddling with this in the parking lot where I'm vulnerable and somebody can snatch me up, okay? So, yeah, just had to get that together. But we are about to run to Costco and get our meats. Because I like going to Costco and getting the meats because they last so much longer. The meats last so much longer when you get them from there. And I need, like, we need paper towels and paper plates, coffee creamer. I buy that in bulk. I think that's pretty much it. Everything else we already got, so... Just a small, a little run. Mommy, where you at? Can't even find my daughter. You ready to go with mommy? You wanna go with mommy? Yeah, you wanna have a little mommy daughter date? Yeah! All right. 
Yo, people nasty, okay? It's COVID. I don't want your old shopping cart. Oh my goodness, I left my membership ID. I left my mask. Now we're walking back in for the second time. Hopefully we get it right this time. I got my little baby. Say hi, baby. Mama. We finally made it in Costco. Got the membership. Got everything resolved. Um, and now it's just a few items that I need to pick up like I said mostly meats and then some paper products say hi mama you enjoying our date are you enjoying our date <laughs> Not a lot. Did you enjoy? Did you enjoy your day date with Mama? Huh? Did you enjoy it? All she keeps trying to do is pull my mask off. Mm. Ah, isn't that right? Isn't that right, Muffin? I'm so ready to get out of here, guys. It's so hot, and this place is just mm. so big. Mm. I'll show you guys what I got when I got home. When I get home. We just got back from Costco. I'm sorry if that footage was like a little shaky and maybe all over the place. It was so much going on between like having on and breathing through that stupid mask and Costco in itself is so big and overwhelming and then having Anaya on me and trying to shop and remember everything and remember everything that I needed to get. It was a lot and I still forgot something. I was supposed to get coffee creamer from there and I forgot so whatever i'm still going to show you guys what i got so i picked up some um paper towels um i got what are these uh paper plates don't mind that solo cup anaya literally climbed in the pantry and got that out um so some paper plates and then i got the thick cut kirkland brand bacon i got this huge thing of salmon i got some wagyu um ground beef uh, some boneless skinless chicken thighs, some shrimp, and a rotisserie chicken. So I didn't really get much. This is just all the meats that I needed for this next month to like month and a half. Hey y'all, so it is the next day and I wanted to show you guys what our living room wall looks like as promised in yesterday's vlog. <sighs> Let me just show you guys. Ah, uh, this still is not the best lighting as you guys can see it's a glare coming in so it just looks <laughs> oh my goodness okay let me see let me see if i can get up close on it can you guys see that i think that this is the the most authentic representation of what the wall looks like this lighting right up in here so oh let me stand back i'm literally tripping over anaya's toys so bam here we go i love this painting here we added this painting but we never even purchased this painting for um this room truth be told when we got our guest uh bedroom set for the guest bedroom in the basement um <laughs> 
I think some they had some type of promotion going on and I want to say we like got that for free or something like that like it's literally been sitting in the guest bedroom closet and then when we painted this color we just bought it up here and it looks amazing so excited about this like ooh cannot wait to finish decorating um but I do have a question you guys let me know we have our little entryway here would you continue this paint color into this space because otherwise this space is just um it's just the regular color that came with the home um so yeah we're thinking so but we're still not quite sure so yeah would you continue it or what yeah i just wanted to come on here and update you guys on that hope that you enjoyed this vlog i know that it was a short one but that's all we got going on today so we will see you in the next one guys peace